Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, this past week, I was asked a question, which was, how do you handle all the different emotions that come up when we're not able to experience so many of the things that are occurring right now in the pandemic? For example, a wedding that has to be postponed or rearranged, or it looks different than what you thought it would look, graduations, uh, proms being canceled, um, you know, not being able to get together with family for, a birthday or a holiday or or things like that that are either coming up or or not being able to travel and missing out on that vacation that we had saved and dreamed about going on for so long and and how do we handle all the different emotions and i think the first step is to really to understand what emotions are present oftentimes anger is the emotion that we experience and we see our anger or you know, sometimes we'll even notice our hurt and our sadness there, but people will tell, say that I'm so angry or I'm really disappointed or I'm very frustrated or irritated. And all those are derivatives of anger. And anger is really a secondary emotion, meaning it comes second. There are other emotions that happen and occur in us first, whether we recognize them or not. Oftentimes those other emotions are hurt, sadness, fear, um, anxiety is definitely part of that, guilt, shame, and, and it comes from a place of, of some sort of pain in our lives. And when we're able to really sit and reflect what's really going on, am I just angry because these things are occurring and, I, and I'm at a loss and, and what, what I was expecting and planning on is no longer occurring? Or am I really hurt? Is there really a wound there that needs some healing? Am I sad? Is there a loss that I need to grieve? Is there a fear here that I need to recognize and speak truth into? Um, whatever it is, being able to go a little bit deeper into what you're feeling is very, very helpful. Oftentimes I'll take my journal out when, the, when I kind of get stuck and I notice that I'm in this really angry place and I'll just start writing sentences. I am angry because, and then fill in why I'm angry. And then I am hurt because, and fill in why I'm hurt. And then continue at continue on with sadness and fear and really being able to identify as I'm looking at all those sentences what's really going on inside of me and then we can really adjust to be able to say okay that is how I'm feeling absolutely and this is why I'm feeling this way and we can validate why those feelings are there then we choose to move forward in a new way and when we choose when we make that decision to move forward we are telling ourselves it's going to be okay. It doesn't have to look like it did before. We can be creative. Um, we can allow ourselves to to really get out there and, and figure out new things, new ways of doing. Maybe we create a new tradition that we hadn't thought of before. Or we're able to connect with somebody in a way that maybe we, we didn't know we could connect with. Maybe we have a friend from, you know, halfway across the country that, man, we're really connecting with them in a new level now because we're all in the same boat of having to stay home and, and do video conferences and what that looks like. And that can create a sense of connection that we didn't know that we could have. Instead of just being frustrated that I'm not able to connect in the way I've always done it, how can I identify that, that feeling, that loss, that fear maybe even, and be able to move forward and connect with people in a new way? So that's my challenge to you this week, that as you're praying and as you're journaling, go a little deeper with those feelings, understand why they're there, what they're saying. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at the church or you can email me. And um, I would love to chat with you and love to walk through this with you if you feel like you're getting stuck. Otherwise, I wish you all well in your journaling and, and covering some of those emotions as you continue to move forward. Have a great weekend.